Okay, today I'm here with Carmelo Cipollone from Technical Audio Group. Welcome. Thank you, Jimmy. What are we looking at today, Carmelo? Well, we've got uh, some components from Alan and Heath's uh, iLive T series. Um, we've got the IDR16 mix rack, the R72 um, control surface, and we're highlighting the um, iMix iPad app for the system. Okay, cool. Um, now, the, the whole the whole idea of being able to walk around a venue and, and adjust your mix or various parameters of how your sound sounds is becoming more popular. Um, this is a bit unique in the sense that uh, once you've got the system configured, what happens if you get rid of the surface? Well, you can still mix. Um, once you've configured the system, as you've pointed out, you can just... Uh, walk around the venue uh, without the control surface um, or turn up to a gig without the control surface I should say and have your iPad uh, app and obviously if you've got Wi-Fi it runs on Wi-Fi so set up your Wi-Fi and you can come up on stage uh, ring out your monitors um, interview those performers that may want uh, things in their monitors differently than what you set up you can have a conversation you with people without shouting through sh a microphone that's right, at without them. shouting a mic or across the room it just becomes a bit more personal on stage that is a bit more pleasant um or you can just wander around the room and make adjustments as you hear them in the seating area or wherever they wherever you might be thinking that you might make some adjustments rather than being stuck at the mix position all the time which you know some, as, sometimes you're in a slightly compromised location in terms of being in the venue and, and where you want to be that's right. To yes. hear what you're hearing. Yeah. Okay. Now, as far as, as what we can do on this, obviously we can we can do fader moves and so on, and we can do we're using multi touch here, and we can do multiple faders at once. I think I got like seven or eight of these going earlier. Um, now, what else can we do from the app? We can we can obviously adjust our levels of mix going out of the main outputs. Can we do things like auxiliary mixes? We can do auxiliary mixes. Um, Obviously, if you're running just the one system and you're mixing uh, monitors on stage from your inputs, uh, you don't want to be adjusting your inputs up and down. We happen to have a OGS one here, which is sending to Vox vocals. Double tap. Uh, no, I've just muted it, sorry. There we go. We double tap the uh, OGS one. And as we adjust the fader up and down, it's not actually adjusting the fader of input one in front of house which it is now well i've, I've just but i've just selected the the vocal one mix on the surface vocal so we one can mix. see it moving there that's right and we're, now what we're doing is adjusting the vocal input channel one to the vocal one mix up if the performer wants it up um so if we get out of that now if we get out of then that and play with that fader again i'm in fact adjusting it back over here on on front the of house. level going to the main mix that's right Okay. Um, so we can do that. We can send to matrices. We can, whoops, sorry. We can send to um, groups uh, in the same fashion on on the iPad. Okay. And I was playing around. And it looks like you can do all the things like assign your channels to your main outputs and your groups and set pre and post and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, how about in terms of uh, a monitor sort of application where you're on stage and we want to adjust an EQ for a send? Can you do that? Yes, you can do that. As far as um, initial setup, uh, things like things like how how our, our IP addresses and so on are configured, normally you get all of that stuff done before you arrive at the gig, so you know you're turning up with a working system. Now it seems to be fairly low latency, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, you make changes on on the surface, and you can see them changing on the uh, on the pad relatively fast, and and likewise. The changes, the, the the latency on this is is impressively low. I've it is impressive, yeah, and metering as well. Um, is yeah, we actually much we tried very, the metering clear. earlier, um, and considering it's going over Wi-Fi, it's pretty close to real time, which is definitely a good thing. I'm just thinking so, of those those sort of small kind of corporate gigs where, you know, you've got a, a room, a function room full of, you know, exquisitely set tables and chairs and mm. theming amok and all sorts of that kind of thing. Um, and there is no physical location for a front of house mix position. I think this would be awesome because you can set up your side of stage position, but then um, throughout the night, if you need to go and have a listen, make some changes to whatever. That's right. You know, it, it 
This this is a lot more unimposing than this, and this is a lot more unimposing than something two metres wide. Uh, and that's sort of roughly our capabilities in terms of this. How many channels can we do um, on this mix rack? This particular mix rack <coughs> has 16 mic line inputs and eight outputs okay, and on the front. But however, the mix engine internally is 64 by 32. Okay. So, so if we wanted to, so again, coming back to our small production company example, if, if they had a couple of 16, way, 16 by eight systems floating around, um, they could combine those to make a bigger system? They could, yes. Okay, so there's some flexibility there. Okay, now okay. If, you're, if you're paranoid about these things like, like I am, um, and you don't trust a wireless as much as you trust a wire, mm -hmm. is there a way you can have a backup? Can you run a laptop or something in, in tandem with this so that if you know, your Wi-Fi goes up the creek for no apparent reason, as Wi-Fi sometimes does, mm -hmm. you can still have control over your mix? You can. Um, on the front, there are, there are a couple more network ports. So as you can see, we've plugged the Wi-Fi into one, but you could uh, have your laptop connected into a, another one, and there's one on the back of the surface as well. Um, so you've got redundancy built in there. If you bring your laptop along, you don't want to run Wi-Fi, you can run it wired off a laptop. Okay, yeah. excellent. So that's new additions to the iLive family from Alan and Heath it's through Technical Audio Group. We'll see you next time. Thank you.